Alright guys, James here with JWN Lawn Care bringing you another video. Um, <clears throat> I hope everyone's well. It's been a, um, about a week since I last posted something, which is kind of normal, I guess. Um, exams are done. Um, yeah, uh, I just thought maybe I'd uh, make a quick video. Well, it's probably not going to be quick, actually. Um, I take that back every time I say I'm going to make a quick video, it ends up being bloody 30 minutes long or something. Um, it's going to be a video um, on a few things. First of all, the next batch of our meters have arrived. Um, they arrived the other day, but I didn't have time to make a video on them. Um, Harry, you asked, can I make a video on um, putting them on? Why should I put it on? I'm going to put it on my garden line. I'm going to put it on my garden line multi-tool tonight. Um, so it's currently about 7.20pm, uh, it's the 24th of June, hopefully you guys can see that. Um, yep, yeah, so I don't care, I'm going to put it on. Um, um, one, I'm, getting, I'm, I'm just going to need to keep ordering them. I order them in batches of three because what the um, seller has on eBay is they've got like a buy to get one. 5% or I don't know, something like that, so I like buy them in batches of three. Um, so I'm going to get another batch, because one's going to be for my new mower. So, um, again, keep those boats rolling in. What do you think I'm going to get? Um, the other's going to be for the garden line, and I'm tossing up about putting the third on either my, um, well, my hedge trimmers, my main hedge trimmer, the rock hedge trimmer, or on a um or on the garden line edger tell me what you think um because i'm not going to do that tonight i'll just do the garden line multi-tool one tonight um i'm also going to um put in a few clips hopefully um i actually from last night and um today most of today i am um, went over to one of my friend's farms um, he's got a farm up in a place called Buxton, which is near there, um, at least, which is about an hour and a half from our house. It's, um, I'm going to, there we go. Um, it's about an hour and a half from our house, hour and 45 minutes. Um, it's a bit past Healesville. For those of you who know where Healesville is, it's pretty much there and you keep going. Um, so yeah, um, that's kind of like, that was for, um, my youth group because, we have kind of different little groups in my youth group, so we have the boys group, the girls group, but then in those groups, and we do a lot of stuff together for like worship nights and community activities, and those kinds of things, but when we're like in our separate little groups, we're kind of talking about either gender specific, age specific, you know, that kind of thing, it's a more personal thing, um, so they've got us some in the inter boys group, so, you know, I think it's year 7 to year 10, 10, year 11, something like that, and then you've got the seniors and the juniors on either side of that. Um, so, yeah, us in the um, inter-boys group, or dank boys as we call ourselves, um, we decided, hell yeah, let's go to uh, one of my friend's farm. Um, he said, yeah, you know, let's go up there, spend the night, do some stuff, and so we're like, okay, so we did that. Um, so you guys are going to get to see a bit of the... Uh, craziness going on there. Um, they recently purchased that farm only in late May this year, so they're pretty new to it all, but what I'm really jealous of is that farm came with everything on it, so it came with, a ha it came with the house and it came with all the equipment as well. So this, this guy who previously owned it had a, has a bobcat, he has two tractors, he's got a John Deere ride-on mower, he's got another ride-on mower, He's got a trimmer. He's got all that kind of stuff. I'm like, Mate, you have a bobcat? And he's like, yeah, yeah, let's, let's drive it. I'm like, what? So, yeah, um, you guys will see that in a moment. I, I um, drove a bobcat for the first time. And uh, later on, when my parents came to pick me up, uh, we taught my dad how to drive it as well. Um, so I'll put that in as well because that's pretty funny. Um, you'd think... It's hard, like, when you look at someone driving a bobcat, you're like, oh, God, that's that's really hard. But it's actually not. Um, you know, I, was, I got into it thinking, oh, God, you know, what am I getting myself into? But, you know, after about three or four minutes, it's like, oh, yeah, you know, I can't get this. Um, 
for those of you who run zero term mowers, it's kind of that similar principle. Um, but obviously we've just got joysticks, so you've got two joysticks, one on each side. There's a couple of different controls layouts, I think, for different Bobcats. But the one he has, um, which is, I can't remember which one it is, but um, you'll see it in the video. Um, it's got two joysticks, so one either side of you, the one on your left is for your movement controls. So forward, go forward, back, go back, left and right, turn left and right. Um, the right, um, the joystick on your right controls the bucket, or whatever attachment you've got on the uh, hitch thingy. Um, so, you know, up, down, moves it up and down, and left and right kind of tilts it. Um, you've got a little toggle switch on the top to open and close, or whatever, for the um, hydraulics for that particular thing. I guess if you had a flail mower, that could, you know, kick on the hydraulics for the flail mower. Um, something like that. Um, also, <clears throat> so you'll see that. What you'll also see is, uh, might as well show you, also got this in the mail the other day, nice big 4 litre fuel mixing bottle, um, <coughs> oh sorry, they, don't, they normally only come in 1 litres and um, we're like oh you know, let's get a 4 litre one because why not, um, <coughs> so I did and I really like it. So I'm going to use that for mixed fuel and so on. I actually like these style of mixing bowls because some you get, you know, it's like, oh, you know, let's see where I can put this down. It's like fill up the gas to this line and then fill up oil to this line or whatever. Whereas these ones, I'm just going to flip this all around. These ones have your, see it's a little bit dented, but um, so you've got your line for the f petrol there, so four letters there. Um, and then you've got your, um, oil line in here. So these are two separate things. So this is where you put the just straight unleaded petrol in and then you pour the oil into here up to that line and you pour the petrol in up to that line and then you pretty much put the caps on, tilt it like that and then the oil goes down into the petrol, shake it around, mix it up and then yeah. Um, if this one's got 25 to 1 and 20 to 1 mixture ratios on it but I don't know. I'll see. I'm not really sure what I'm going to use it for. I might it's a put for it. I'm I might put already mixed forty to one in it just for a storage container. I might, you know I might keep using it as twenty five to one because I've got a couple of things that use twenty five to one. Um that's also another main reason why I actually like sticking with all one brand because then they're just all on the one fuel mix, whereas if you have multiple brands and you go have oh, you know, stills on fifty to one and you need that still oil and you know, oh Husqvarna's on this um, I'm not sure what mix Husqvarna is, I know it might be 50 to 1 with their oil, or I have no clue. Um, and then, you know, oh, Garden Line, 40 to 1, oh, Rock, 25 to 1, oh, Rover, 25 to 1, oh, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, you got, suddenly you got like seven or eight different mixing bottles lying all over the place. And it just makes things complicated because then it's really easy to stuff up um, your mixtures, and especially if um, some tools you get don't have like the mixture ratios on the fuel caps. So it's really, really easy to get something that you think, oh yeah, that's 25 to 1, and it's actually 30 to 1 or 40 to 1, and pour 25 to 1 in it, and there goes your trimmer or whatever. Um, so you got to be really careful with that, um, which is why I, I almost did that actually once, because my rock backpack blower, I think, is 30 to 1, I believe, and most of my other tools are either 25 to 1 or 40 to 1 um, that aren't like big steel brand kind of thing. Um, and I accidentally poured a tiny bit of 25 to 1 into it. Um, thankfully, because there's not a huge difference in the fuel oil ratio, um, it didn't really affect it because obviously it was outweighed. There was a lot of, it was mostly 30 to 1 that was still in there. I just topped it up with a little bit of 25 to 1 accidentally. Um, so, yeah. That, that thankfully wasn't, didn't result in any um, lost equipment, but it just shows you, it's it's really easy guys to put the wrong fuel mix into things and then <laughs> there goes your tool. Um, so yeah, you're going to see me running around in a bobcat, you're going to see my dad running around in a bobcat, um, you're going to see us kind of doing some slightly questionable things on the bobcat, on the ride on mower, <laughs> I don't know, maybe you think they're questionable, maybe you think they aren't. 
tell me. <laughs> um, everything, we are all, we all know what we're doing, just as a kind of little disclaimer thing, so, you know, it's not like we're just doing that, because we have no bloody clue what we're doing, and we're just like, oh, do you do this? You know, we, we know what we're supposed to do, so. One moment. <laughs> Sorry, guys, that was a uh, one of my friends from school asking me about a, um, some parent social thing. Um, that's why I'm out here, because my parents aren't home. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, nah, um, yeah. So, anyways, uh, um, so yeah, y y we, we know what we're doing, and, you know, we're just kind of having a bit of fun. Um, but, yeah, so, that's going to be the, um, I'm, for those of you who are wondering, I still haven't sold the Honda yet, um, so, I'm not getting any new mowers until I've sold that, because pretty much what I'm doing is I'm using the money from that, and then I'm going to go buy the new one, um, <clears throat> whatever it may be. So, that's how I'm panning it out, because obviously I don't want to run myself into the ground, you know, trying to buy some crazy, um, ridiculously expensive mower, because I just, I don't, I don't need that. Um, by the way, if you're wondering with these little clips you're going to see, <clears throat> it's all, um, from Snapchat, so, <laughs> most of it's Snapchat, um, except for the one where we're teaching my dad to drive, so, um, they're all pretty much just 10 second long videos, but, you know, I'll give you a little snapshot into my, uh, into my time. Oh, and I also have a little bit of mowing with the John Deere. Um, I don't know which model it is. It's a 100 series. Um, lawn tractor, so you'll see that. Um, I don't know. I think, nah, we don't need to put music behind this. Um, yeah, I'll get back to you after we show you that. Let's have a look at it. Run the right on. Woo! Let's go. Thanks, boys. Cutting grass. <laughs> I'm getting in the box. Yeah. Oh. Start this thing up. Ow. Let's see it, Dad. Come on, press down on the accelerator pedal. That's the wrong one. <laughs> yeah, hold it down. Hold it down and move that joystick. Get that one. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Just move it slightly. Move. <laughs> Should I drive up to Mum's car? Yes! Leave my bags in the back! <laughs> it's illegal to drive me on the road. No anymore. <laughs> yeah. No, left and right. And then pull it to the left. And then, and then tilt it. Oh, no, no, no. That, that way, that one, that one. Oh, so yeah, yeah. And this opens up. Yeah, yeah, I'll hold it. And that becomes a, 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 a grab. A grab. Yeah. Well, no, and a pusher. Yeah, yeah. So it does both. Yeah. So it's awesome. Gotta go. It doesn't hold water though. No. Yeah, it's scraping the ground. You can step on the accelerator, it'll go faster. Oh, 
Alrighty guys, so, um, <clears throat> hope you enjoyed that little bit of my, um, interesting times. So, um, this is obviously my garden line for my multi-tool. Um, and I have my hour meter here in its package. Um, so, pretty much what you get is, oh, there they are, so you get two little screws, um, which we won't need. You get the hour meter of base itself, and you get a nice little cable. Um, <clears throat> so, first things first, um, what we're going to do is unwind the cable here. Um, so that pretty much just, we're not going to need all of it for this, obviously. Because um, there's, as you can see, there's quite a lot of it. And, um, yeah, there's, there's a lot. So, we're only going to use a little bit. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm just going to actually go cut this real quick. I'll get my pliers at least, and um, then we can cut it later. Alright, back again. Got our pliers. Um, so, the way I do this is... Um, so, I'll just get myself comfortable. Um, you, what I always say is just don't cut anything until you've got it all set up and you're happy because you can always cut more off but you can't stick it back on um, well I guess you can but it's very hard so um, yeah so what we're going to do just make sure we keep these little screws in the bag so that's down there um, then what we're going to do I got really confused at this part at first but it's pretty easy once you get used to it get the back of this see this little kind of slot thing here you get one end of the uh, of your cable, the say it's gonna. Where can we sit it? Maybe we'll sit it there. I think yes, yes, yes. So we're going to get one end, stick it in, and you just there's no connecting all that kind of garbage. Just push it through. You can see it's starting to come out, so that doesn't really matter. It's easier, you know, you just do it like that. And then you can, you know, find yourself something to push it in with. Um, in this case, don't ask me why, but I have a screwdriver lying around. So, ow. And um, let's use that. So, just try and push it in. Doesn't need to be, you know, the next Mona Lisa or anything. It just needs to be in. Um, once you got that, you're well on your way. Um, next thing to do, get your spark plug cap off, um, if you can. Yeah, I need to vacuum this floor, guys. Sparky. Oh, right. Um, why don't we use? Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm oh man, these um. Garble mine certainly puts their caps on hard. I'll tell you that much, guys. <laughs> You know what? Bugger it. We're going to undo this because we're going to need to do this anyways. Um, so, oh, what you're going to do is you're going to take off the casing and then we can obviously get the spark plug easier. Um, so, yeah, there's a few bolts to undo, obviously. You just need, it should be pretty self-explanatory, this bit, so pretty much just any bolt that looks like it's connected to the casing, just undo that. If you can't undo it, there's probably a good reason for it. Um, don't try and push it, you're probably just going to do yourself more harm than good. Um, make sure you know where the bolts came from, so, can't keep a little, I like to um, make a little 
pile. Okay, have a diagramish sort of thing of the engine so I can see where they've all been. Um, anyways, I'm probably going to speed this next bit up because this is going to take a while. The spark plug cap does not want to come off. The still ones are kind of difficult. This one's just torture. God. Good lord. Maybe that's why this whole part here was bent inwards. <laughs> this probably is making it so bloody difficult. Um, alright, so, success. Oh, nice. Oh, no, success. So, spark plugs there. Um, now, what you can do is, I'm praying to God that this thing isn't insulated, because if it is, we're stuffed. Um, to put it simply at least. So, that's basically a spark plug in there. What we've got to do is, um, this blasted thing. Um, we have to pretty much get this cable around the spark plug cord. Um, which look by the looks of it, um, I don't know. Will it work? I hope it does. Um, Cause see, there's an insulator on here, so I don't know whether that's going to block out the electrical current or not. Um, oh, well, pray to God it won't. Can't do much else about it. Um, so we're going to put this out. Or oh, in, should I say, if we put it in through. There's a good in spot. There is no good in spot. That's very helpful. Oh, no. No, no, no. There is, guys. There is. Sorry. There is. See? Yes. Will that work? I don't know. It's all about the, um, just try to figure out where the best spot is to get the cable through. Um, once you've got that sorted, you're good to go. Yes, 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 yes. So, we're going to put our cable in through there. Um, making sure it can't stays there-ish. Um, and then, go. oh, this will make it easier. If I can get 
get it through. Ow. It's my finger now. There we are. So, put this through. So what we're going to do is, let's bring you guys in a bit closer. Zoom in. Ooh. Um, let's put you around here. That's going to be an interesting side, isn't it? Right, so. Aha. Right. Oh, this is hard, guys. I can barely see what I'm doing. Right, there we are. Mm. Snapchat. Shut up. Um, so we're going to wrap this around here a few times. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be a masterpiece. It's just got to be wrapped around the spark plug cable here um, and that pretty much just again I'm doing this over the little um, shield thing so whether it works or not is anyone's guess it's worked on everything else so I'm praying to work on this as well um, then get your twisty tie And this is pretty much just going to be here to hold the whole joint in. In, the, in place, that is. Um, just kind of wrap that around, make sure it's nice and tight. Then you can. I don't know, I guess I can put this back on. Out that bit folding in. Mm -hmm. There we go. Right, so now this bit car. Okay, this bit goes around to here. Um, and again, this is kind of like this. Um, that bit I probably didn't need to have put on the. Um, for. Oh, shut up, Snapchat. Um, by the way, guys, actually, yeah, I might as well say, if you want to have me on Snapchat, it's just my um, name, James. Back in a moment. <laughs> Sorry, guys, that was my friend again, giving me a live update on uh, where he's at. Okay, let's zoom out. Oh, that's in. <clears throat> Okay, no, that's just weird. Um, Alright, so, um, <laughs> we have our, um, I've just put the cover back on top, so, our spark plug, our, um, he's on here, so it should work, in theory. Um, obviously it's, you know, late at night, I can't really test it now, but trust me, I would if I could, but, um, for now... We're going to, oh. Hmm. It's slightly odd. Oh, well. Um, so, yeah. Um, we're going to put our screws back on now. Um, you're going to see me do that, I guess. Yep, high speed.
Alrighty guys, so, um, case is back on. Um, our little meter thing is dangling down here. So, I probably, I did this the wrong way last time as well. I probably should have just kept this off. Um, but anyways, no issue. So, now, it's simply a matter of sticking it on. Um, so, I'm thinking somewhere like down there. Yeah, maybe. Um, just shove it there. Um, so, we're going to do that. Just going to see if there's any important stuff there. No, there isn't. Okay. Um, so, I'm going to go get a uh, sticky thingy and I'll be back. Alright guys, back again. We've got a uh, couple of sticky thingies. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut our cable first. So we pretty much just have a look. Where's it going to go? So we're going to sit it there. So we'll say maybe something like that. We'll do. And I think it will. About that much cable. So you got a little bit of play, but not tons. Um, and after that, we can then go and lift this up a bit. Simply cut it. Clean cut, no stuffing around. I haven't got it in the cut a bit. That might help. There we go. Right, so. Cable thingy cut. Um, oh, there we are. So now, you can sit down like that and you've got your excess cable here. You can keep that for others if you want. Um, Way. Oh, yeah, that's right. Alright, so you get two of these sticky things. Make sure the back's nice and clean. Put one down. Make sure it's um, pressed down nice and tight. Which it isn't right now, but it will be in a moment. And so you don't have to hold it for too long. Just hold it so you know that it's, you know, doing its thing. Um, so you just pretty much hold that down, make sure it's nice and firm. So it's really sticking on. And um, then obviously it can go there. Um, so we can now peel our little other sticky backing off. These are just... Those double mounting, double sided adhesive strips. Um, might wonder, oh, do they work well in um, the rain and what have you? Yes, they do. Um, these are why I've put on all my machines. I've never had a single problem. Yes, I've washed them a couple of times, so, you know, it works. Um, right now I'm just holding this nice and tight, making sure that it really sticks in. Um, you can see, you know, you've, you've got hold it for a little bit, just make sure it goes down nice and tight. I can hear some weird sound every time I do that. It's just some top bit that's not playing ball. Oh, and the bottom bit, okay. Alright, alright. Okay, so. Um, there we have it, guys. A, um. Little. Hour meter on my guy line trimmer. Probably not the world's best place to put it, but. Oh, hmm. Okay. Sorry. Um. Not the best place to put it, but, you know. 
it's not a lot of other spaces too thin so there it won't really get knocked too much um, yeah so um, I'm contemplating getting a speed feed for this but I don't use it enough at the moment I like never use it so I can't justify spending another 50 60 bucks on it um, but yeah so um, Harry that's how you put on a uh, owl meter um, so yeah hope that helps you out all right so um I don't think I have anything else to uh, talk about that's how you god damn it um, that's how you install an owl meter drive a bobcat I don't know <laughs> it's kind of just a randomish video um, I felt like doing uh, so yeah hopefully it's a uh, taught you something if it hasn't I don't know if it has awesome um, I hope that helped you out Harry um, alright um, sorry just checking um, Why do I replay those? <laughs> uh, why is this no time? Actually, let's put this on here. Um, if you guys want to add me... <sighs> ah, save snap code to camera roll. There we are, so... Now you guys can... Um, I'll put that in my video around now. Um, hopefully it works in the editor, so you guys can, um, see what I do. Um, it's not really just a business thing on Snapchat, it's kind of business and personal, so, you know. If you're happy to see some of my less lawn care related life, then, you know, hit me up. Um, but yeah, so, I reckon that's going to be the end of this video. I don't think I had anything else I want to talk about. I will make another video on why I'm selling the Honda, um, just like going into detail of, you know, situations and that kind of thing, but until, oh, James, West Oz Garbo Productions, you asked if you could see the um, ride on mower, my McCulloch ride on mower in action, um, you'll, you've obviously seen one in this video already, um, tomorrow, we're pretty sure we're going up to our farm, so... Um, I've got the orchard tomorrow, so I'll try and get some footage up there. I might even, if I've got time, we're, we're picking all our olives tomorrow, so I might get some footage of that as well. Um, I'll try and do a review and cold start video of the ride-on, if I have time. Um, I'll also see, I am bringing back the backpack blower, my rock backpack blower for the moment. Um, because I'm really not using it much up there. Um, it's really only for the road, um, but that's not much of an issue, oh. um, so anyways, yeah, so that's what's hopefully going to happen tomorrow, if it does, you'll see it, um, if it doesn't, I don't know, we'll probably be going up next weekend, I don't know, because um, it's supposed to be pretty cold and wet tomorrow, I know you guys in America, you're starting to get into summer now, spring, um, so it's warming up, over here, it's getting really, really cold, um, it's like, five six degrees celsius cold um so yeah i think it's supposed to be a top of eight tomorrow up at Kyneton. um but yeah anyways i'll get going with this video so it can be up before i go to bed and i'll uh, see you guys in the next video uh thanks for watching everyone